today, I want to be looking at the different properties of gases. Now, I'm sure you've all heard of gas. I'm sure you're all familiar with it. It's the oxygen we breathe in, the carbon dioxide we breathe out. It's the gas in your deodorant. It's also the gas that kind of comes out your rear ends when you've got the windy pops. Exactly. But I ain't talking about just particular one gas. I mean gases in general, all types of gases. So what exactly is gas? So what you need for this experiment, you need two mugs, you need a touch of water, some plastic sandwich bags, you need a couple of rubber bands, some marshmallows, some tissue paper, and you need some soap that floats. So we're gonna take two cups here. Both of them are empty, as you can see. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna stick a bag on the top and seal it, and stick it in a microwave and turn it on. And what we're gonna to hope to see is, how much the actual air or gas inside or the stuff inside expands to cause the bag to inflate. So one will be filled with water, one won't be. Water, H2O, when it turns into a gas, it actually takes up 1600 times more space. So, water, no water. As you can see, I'm not gonna turn this one upside down. Okay, they're in, we're gonna stick it on. And watch what happens. Here we go. As you can see, as it cools down, and I've taken it out, the bag is rapidly deflating. And that's because it's cooling down. The one that had no water in it hasn't changed size at all. Because there was no molecules of water in there, there was nothing to get hot. So basically, it's practically a cool cup with no change in volume. But in this one, when the water changed to a gas, it took up a lot more space and it filled up the balloon. So that is what happens when a gas is formed from a liquid. So we've got pressure and volume on one side, that's P and V. When we times them together, they should equal the same amount as what's on this side, which is the temperature times the number of molecules in the substance, number of moles, not molecules, number of moles, and also in a constant, which is just basically a number. So let's throw some of these marshmallows into this microwave and see what happens if you heat it up. Now the thing to remember about marshmallows is they're really fluffy, they're like a kind of harder foam, a solid foam. And if you look at these, the air bubbles in them, they're really squishy. The little bubbles of air in them means that if we heat this up, the molecules, fat and water inside it, will vibrate and get hot. And what they'll do is, they'll tend to cause the water molecules inside to expand and also some of the gases inside to expand. And as they expand, they should take the marshmallow with them. We're gonna stick it on a tissue and put it in the microwave and see what happens to this marshmallow. Time for some marshmallow action. Oh, there it goes. Did you see that? Now the thing is, it just looks like a sludge, but if you could see before it turned into a sludge, it actually got really big. And that's because all of the bubbles inside, as they was escaping and getting bigger, they took the marshmallow with them. But the minute I turned it off, the heat was removed and the volume decreased. Now, if any of you lot have seen any of the other head squeeze videos, you may have seen Greg talking about why do some turds float? Well, it is the exact same description for this. It's that it has tiny bubbles of air in it. And because the air is less dense than water, it tends to go to the top in water. You can check my video on density as well if you want to get a little reminder of what density is. Let's take this soap that floats and do something really stupid with it. So let's see what happens when we stick the soap that floats into the microwave. And don't forget, there's a subscribe button somewhere. Now we're at the end, so don't forget to subscribe. Here we go. The soap that floats in the microwave. So we're adding heat, we're adding temperature. According to the equation, PV equals NRT. If you was to increase the temperature, the equation on this side should balance. So either the pressure will increase or the volume will increase. Now, because there's nothing to keep the pressure contained in here, well, it means the pressure's constant and the volume's gonna increase. Sweet. 
soap souffle, people. Come and get it. <laughs>